Mike's on. All right, it is time for the tip-off. That means we get to talk a little hoop. I'm joined by the one guy that's here quite a bit, another guy that's actually here quite a bit too, but in a different capacity. This is Henry Turner, of course, on a Flashback Friday. And on our very left, former Sacramento Kings, 2005 to 2010, Kenny Thomas joining us here on the tip-off. I love it, man. I love a Flashback Friday where K-9 gets to be in the house. Well, you got two number nines here, I man. love that, too. That's I love double that nine. Too. How you feeling? You doing okay? Let's. I know you, we see you down here baseline. You get to soak up some of these games. You got a business not far away that's doing great. How's Kenny, how's Kenny Thomas doing these days, man? Man, I'm enjoying life. And the fact that I'm, um, I stepped from the court to the boardroom and I'm doing business now, Kenny Thomas Enterprises is doing great. And like you say, I got a restaurant called El Rey. It's on 7th and K Street. You guys got to come out and check it out. Oh, El Rey, you hear him already looking at everybody Street. cheering. They're wondering why you didn't bring tacos for all of us, Kenny Thomas. Come on, man. Oh, man, there's a lot of people in here. <laughs> You're right about that. You're right about that. <laughs> You're trying to make money. We should go. We'll get tacos later tonight. That's right. On K9. On his bill. Of course. I mean, why not? Hey, so it is Flashback Friday. We thank you both for joining us down here. I know Fresh is already up near Digital HQ. He is talking to some fans. They're rocking the retro. Fresh, what's happening up there, buddy? Yeah, that's right. A lot of great stuff's happening up here. We're all excited for Flashback Friday. And it's great to see Kenny Thomas in the house. I do want to confirm with Kenny. He said I could have free, uh, free tacos for life at his restaurant. Oh, wow. So if you could get verification on that, I would be very happy because I'm hungry right now. Uh, anyway, we're having a great time up here. Uh, we're hanging out at Digital HQ, presented by Panasonic. Now, we talk about this often. We say, swing by Digital HQ. But what really happens here? Well, I'm going to show you. It's actually really interactive. So right now, I'm with my friend, Andrew Nicholson. We're going to make a GIF that's going to get tweeted out. So we're going to do it right here. Anybody's welcome to come on over. You can animate yourself. So I got some crazy Kings fans over here. And we're about to go live in three, two, one. And there we go. <laughs> And there it is, look at us. We just became GIFs. So if this is something that you'd like to do, swing by Digital HQ presented by Panasonic. There's a lot of great stuff going on over here with our digital team. Check it out. Back down to you, Moak. All right. Oh, and Fresh, I, I just tried to confirm the free tacos for life. <laughs> we're going to have to talk more about it, so unfortunately. But what, hey, what we're also going to talk more about, Kings basketball. Obviously, this team, two in a row, Henry Turner. I mean, that's a – look, I mean, if you're looking for some positives, we've seen it these last couple games from the Kings. Do you agree? Right, Scott. It seems like the basketball team are finally starting to get things together, starting to understand one another. Coach Jaker is still working on his the rotation out there, but you're starting to see a lot more ball movement, a lot more player movement out there. So it seems like the guys are starting to get it together. They still have some work to do. It's not quite there. You know, they have Matt Barnes in the starting lineup now. He's really helping those guys along as far as being a leader. And uh, it seems like they're starting to get everything moving. When we talk about we're seeing a lot about, hearing a lot about identity, chemistry, canine, those are words that you know. You played on a lot of different teams for a lot of different coaches. How, do you, how does the team start to develop the identity and chemistry that ultimately makes them successful? Yeah, it's hard because the coach is the one that determines how everything happens. And the fact that I had 10 coaches in 11 years, it could be hard. So it's like one of those things they are starting to come together. They've won two games in a row, and I know they're going to keep it going tonight. But, but I think the key is to share the ball, that extra pass. If they make that extra pass, I think they'll be fine. Against these Houston Rockets, that will be key. Another team that likes to run with a lot of pace. Before we get into hearing some of Coach Yeager's comments where he talks about that very thing, it's DraftKings player to watch time. I know you guys huddled up a little bit. Obviously, the, the you know, DeMarcus Cousins, Rudy Gay, they're always going to be part of the player to watch. But, but you guys like to give us someone additional, someone that maybe is, is off the board a little bit. And tonight, you guys chose Ty Lawson. Henry Turner, tell us why, man. Right, Ty Lawson is starting to get it together. You know, he's starting to find himself. Very good player, point guard, facilitating the offense and getting guys involved. Starting to get his shot going. He's getting his confidence going. The Sacramento Kings are really going to need this guy because he's going to be that X factor as far as knocking down three-pointers from behind the arc and just keeping everything spread for the rest of the players. Kenny Thomas Enterprises, what do you feel like is, what is Ty really contributing to this team specifically when he is on the floor for the Kings? I mean, he pushes the ball very well. He sets the tempo. So if he continues to do that and get in the paint and find the open guy, but once again, it's always about that extra pass. Um, I guess I could become a coach, I guess, at some point. But <laughs> You look the part, man. No, you look the, you, I appreciate that. But, I mean, if they make that extra pass, everything will be fun. Okay. Well, then you heard, heard Ty Lawson tonight's DraftKings player to watch. Now, as I said, we're going to go in. Coach Yeager just a little bit ago talked about how the chemistry and identity of this team that you guys have been talking about is maybe starting to come together. Let's take a listen. We're getting better. Uh, you know, played uh, some really good teams. And, uh, 
we've played better uh, as of late. Uh, Toronto was a, was a good get for us, and then uh, I had a good professional uh, win, I think, against a, a good Oklahoma City team on the second night of back to back. So uh, played from the lead, kept the lead. Uh, a lot of guys contributed, and you know we're trying to find. We're, we are starting to find a, a nice mix uh, of chemistry between different guys that are playing together at different times. All right, so the team, the team's got to steal one tonight, obviously against this pretty good Houston Rockets team. You know, this is the, the, after tonight, Kings have five games at home in the next 40 days. So they're going to be out on the road quite a bit. How do they steal one tonight against the Houston Rockets? Well, first of all, you have to understand that the Houston Rockets have James Harden at the point guard position, and they kind of have that bait and hook, that bait and reel type offense to where he facilitates everything. The basketball's in his hands at all times, and he can get in the middle and score when need be. So the big guys, they're going to have to help Scott. And Kenny, you know this as well. They have to help, and when the big guys help on James Harden, he's finding those three-point shooters around the arc. So it's going to be a defensive-minded game for the Sacramento Kings to win. K-9, anything to add on how you stop, you slow down, you keep an eye on a guy like James Harden? Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I mean, the guy's an all-star for a reason. Yeah. I mean, if we try to contain him to a certain amount of points, and I think the Kings will be able to do that because the defense have really gotten better over the last couple of games, which I've seen. And I think that the Kings are going to set the tempo and get the win. All right, we're going to see it tonight. That was Henry Turner. He is K-9, Kenny Thomas back on the tip-off.